popular Thai dish I personally think would have to be a musman curry and I think its appeal is because it's a mild curry that's still really rich that has slow cooked meat potatoes and onions now it is easy to do at home but it can take a bit of time if you're doing it the traditional way it can take up to three hours but I'm going to be using a pressure cooker which means that this slow cooked meat is going to be succulent and tender within 45 minutes so the first thing we need to do is heat up the pressure cooker or if you're doing this in a classic heavy pot make sure you heat it up nice and hot and we're going to seal off the meat the meat that I'm using is chuck steak now when you get this from your butcher ask your butcher to give you a chunk of chuck because the chunk of chuck can be cut into the suitable size this is about five centimeter cubes and I like them to be this size this is the traditional size and once it's cooked it is going to fall apart so in to our pressure cooker. Don't put it all in at once. You don't want to overcrowd the pot. So three pieces at a time. And I will season it with a hint of salt. It doesn't need too much salt, but this is also going to help it brown and get that lovely golden crust. A little bit of pepper. And then this is not going to take long at all because it is quite hot. So it's going to take about one minute on each side. Then I'll remove it and continue the process. Over here I have some potatoes. These are just classic Desiree potatoes. These are huge Desiree potatoes. So I'm going to cut them roughly to the same size as the meat. So five centimetre cubes. And these are going to cook with the beef. You want to use a Desiree potato or a waxy potato so it holds its shape. Right, now that those potatoes are ready, let's have a look at the meat. Just going to turn it a few times. Looking good. We've got some nice colour on it. So I'll just get my plate here and take the first batch of meat out and then I'll just continue browning each piece of meat until they're all done. Okay, my last two pieces of chuck steak are perfectly golden brown. So I'm going to add another tablespoon of vegetable oil to the pot and then some musman curry paste. Now use a good quality musman curry paste. I want a few tablespoons, roughly around a third of a cup of the paste. This paste is so delicious. It's got tamarind pulp in it, which gives it that really nice tangy flavor, lemongrass, garlic, ginger, and many different spices like coriander and cumin. Now you want to cook this paste off because we want to release all of those flavors that I've just mentioned. So with a wooden spoon, give it a mix. This paste has split now, so the meat can be returned. And all of those juices, all those juices equal flavour. See those juices? That is not to be wasted. Into the pot. And I'm just going to give that a quick stir so it's coated in the paste. And now all we need to do is put the remaining ingredients. So the potatoes can go in. This actually makes a really large portion of musman curry. So you can be quite generous with the ingredients. Now for the onions. I'm using pickling onions. I love the shape of them. They're the perfect size. They're roughly the same size as the potatoes that have been chopped. So I'm going to leave them whole. I've just peeled them. And then the final ingredient, some coconut milk. So that can go in now. Now I'm going to lock the lid in place and I'm going to cook this under pressure for 45 minutes. Now, if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can still cook this on the stove top, but it's gonna take three hours on a really low heat. So we saw the steam release, so it's safe to open now and the results are spectacular. It smells so good. I'm going to give it a really quick stir and I'm going to remove the pot now and have a look at that. See how thick and rich it is? Exactly how musman curry should be. Now this curry tastes perfect as is, but I want to just correct the seasoning by adding a little bit of acidity and some fish sauce for some saltiness. So we'll just start with the lime and I'll cut that in half. I'm going to add about half a lime. I don't think it needs any more than that. Squeeze that over the top. And you really do want to do this right at the end just to freshen up the curry. I'm also going to add a small amount 
of the fish sauce. And when I say small amount, I really do mean a small amount, half a teaspoon. So I'm just going to roughly measure that out. Perfect. And then for some sweetness, I'm using some coconut sugar, just a small amount of that over the top. So sprinkle it as if you were sprinkling in a little bit of salt. I'll stir that one more time with my wooden spoon. You can see everything is so soft, so be very gentle not to break up the meat and the potatoes. And now we can serve this. So I'll use my tongs to start with by putting in the meat. I just want to show you how perfectly cooked this meat is. See how it just falls apart just like that. 45 minutes in the pressure cooker and you get perfectly slow cooked meat. I love it. So let's add some potatoes now and I'll add just two for one portion. A bit more meat because that's my favourite part. And lots of sauce, that thick lush sauce over the top. And then to garnish this delicious curry, I'm adding the combination of peanuts, crunchy peanuts over the top, some fried shallots, and we need a little bit more colour here. So a little bit of fresh coriander. Just going to take a few sprigs, just put that over the top. And because I love lime, I'm just going to add a little wedge on the side. So there you have it. You know, takeaway will probably take 45 minutes to an hour to get to your door. So it's actually easier to make it at home. And of course, it's going to taste 10 times better.